Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Andrea and this is Beauty with Andy. It's to get ready with me using all my Shop My Stash products that I picked out for the week. So, let's start with primer. So we're going to go in with the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer and I'm still like trialling this, I really don't know how I feel about it. Um, so the only thing I've got on my face at the moment is my Boots Vitamin C range. So I'm just going to pop a little bit on. She says that's more than a little bit but we want to appear glower doesn't feel like there's that much going on this side of the face. I'll need to get a mirror in a second. So it is a bit glowy. You can see, you can definitely see the glow here. It looks really glowy today, actually. I'm just going to leave that to soak into the skin for a, a minute or two. Right, okay, so yeah, I would say that is looking quite glowy, especially here on the cheekbone area. But did I need to spend £28 to get that glow? I don't think so. Um, like I said in previous videos, I've got an Essence one and that also fills in pores um, and also gives me the same glowy appearance. It actually gives me more of a glow, um, but this one does have like skincare properties in it as well. So it's got vitamin C and banana powder inspired pigments. So the banana powder inspired pigments is what gives you that glow and also it's got vitamin C which is good for your skin. But I'm using kind of like three different products for, for, for the vitamin C, so did I need it? No, I don't, I don't believe that I needed it for the collection, but it is good to know that. Um, what I wish I did is bought that li little travel kit I was telling you about when I actually showed you this. But I bought this in case I absolutely fell in love with it. Um, I'd heard so many rave reviews over the past year about it and I wanted to try it. So I'm glad that I've been able to try it. I don't think I'd repurchase it again though. Um, so now we're just going to go in with the Essence Fresh and Fit Awake Makeup Healthy Glow with Vitamin Complex and Cranberry Water. Something I would repurchase is definitely this. Um, I really like it for like £5 guys. It's such a great foundation. But it's just, just hair too dark. Um, so I have to... Um, use it with another foundation as well unfortunately i just wish they did it in porcelain porcelain in most foundations is my shade i mean look how white i am i never see the sun because i burn so darn easily so when it's sunny i really don't like going out i don't like going out when it's raining either so no weather conditions are great for me i just like i like it when it's nice outside um but like with a breeze um so that's the kind of weather i like don't like it when it's like 30 degrees out there it's like god why especially when you're abroad and you really want to see everything there is to see and it's so darn hot um I went to Portugal with my mum a few years ago. I'm going to insert a clip. It was... Right, let me put this on and then I'll, talk, then I'll tell you the story. Where's my... Right, so I'm going to be using this palette today. So I'm going to use the mirror out of it. So I'll kind of just blend those two foundations in together. And I think I put way too much on that dog's barking outside again every time I film it's like give me a break yeah so I went to Portugal with my mum 
I want to say about three, four years ago now, we had a really nice time. On the last day, um, it was, it was kind of like raining. It wasn't good weather at all. Um, it was just breezy. And we was on the beach just taking in the breeze. Um, it was kind of like even in winter clothes, for goodness sake. It was really, really um, windy. And because it's a different heat there, I caught so much sunburn. And my mum did as well. Now, my mum is not fair like me. Um, when she was younger, she tanned. She tanned quite a lot. Um, but she doesn't, she doesn't now. She doesn't really see a lot of the sun. Um, and when she does, she, she burns as well. Um, so yeah, we were on the beach and I only, like, I had like, kind of like, cropped pants on. And also kind of like flip flops. And I burnt my feet, my feet were so, so burnt. It was un unbelievable. And my, my legs were so burnt as well. I've got a picture of that picture and I couldn't walk. It was so, so tight. Um, but because it was only a few hours before we were due to fly back to England, um, like when we flew back to England and I got up to get off the plane, it was like really, really tight. I could barely get down the stairs. It was awful. Yeah, so that wasn't the best holiday. I've got so many horrific holiday stories, it's unreal. And um, which I'll go into in other videos. This, hopefully, will be a quick get ready with me just because I've got so much to do today. I've got to go to my mum's and like pick up some stuff to her, for her, sorry, um, and take that to the hospital. So she needs some like new underwear, new pajamas. Um, I've got to go like. She she wants some things from the shop as well and I've got to go um, and pick something up from Superdrug that I ordered so yeah I don't really have much time I've only got a few hours until Superdrug closes luckily my mum only lives like five ten minutes away so it's not really that big a deal I should make it yeah so now I'm just putting the normal concealer on that I use Definitely need to get some new foundations though. Could probably go another month without getting anything. But I don't really have that many foundations. Right, what I need is that NYX base, um, so I just need to go and get that. I've just spotted my Charlotte Tilbury mirror, so let's use that to apply the makeup. Just so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. So yeah, I'm just going in with the NYX white base. I've said so many times I don't really like it, but I want to use it up, which I'm out long way away from using up is it just called yeah it's just called white so it's the next eyeshadow base in white i always call it milk base because they've got a pencil um a jumbo pencil called milk which i had and i don't know where that's gone i lost that when i lost my um primark mascara See, when you put it on, it's fine, but then you leave it, like I'll do my brows and I'll do my powder, and then the base sets into my fine lines, and it looks a little bit oily as well, um, so it's not the best for me personally. I need some brushes as well for me powder. I've got one here. 
Yeah, there's one here. Right, so we're using the Laura Mercier for under the eye, but let's do brows first. Just so that concealer's got a bit of time to set. And I'm just using the Revolution Brow Pencil. I'm just filling them in. This brow pencil isn't the best, but again, I want to use it up. I'll only throw away a brow pencil or declutter it if I really don't get along with it. And there is one in my drawer which needs to be decluttered. So when I declutter my brow products, that one will be going. So you'll get to see which one it is. Then we're going in with the Natural Collection Tinted Brow Gel, which I quite like. Um, it's just not as good as the Poundland one. If I can get down there today before all the shops close, I think I will and try and pick up a few backups. The spoolie on this though isn't that great. It's quite thick. Right, so now we'll go in with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder in shade 1. Again, this is a product I wouldn't repurchase. It's just in the collection and it wasn't exactly cheap. Oh. I'm telling you the products I wouldn't repurchase and I'm doing a whole video on it. So I best not say that anymore. This seems to be like everyone's favourite on YouTube though. That's one of the reasons I got it. I saw it and I thought it was in TK Maxx. It was slightly cheaper than what you would get it on the website. And I thought I'm going to try that. Everyone absolutely loves it. There seems to be a running theme with Holy Grails. This is people's Holy Grail and I'm not a huge fan of it. The Chanel bronzer is a holy grail and I'm not a huge fan of it. YouTube made me buy these products and I'm just not fans. So, you know, I should stop listening to YouTube and start listening to myself a little bit more, I think. Um, the, the, the thing that I really do like that YouTube made me buy is this. We're going to be using this next. This Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. It is so nice. Um, it hides like, well it doesn't hide but um, you can't see my pores as much um, and it's just a really nice powder so I just need to get my brush for that. Right so I've just popped a tiny amount in the cap and I normally start like here first because <coughs> that's where I've got the most pores. Yeah it definitely makes them not as noticeable and I wouldn't say this is a matte powder um, it, it kind of gives you that luminescent look um, I don't know if it's supposed to be matte but it kind of gives you a little bit of a glow I know they've got that peach powder and that is supposed to be matte yeah it just looks so more flawless um, than that side Need a bit more for the forehead. I would definitely repurchase this again. And yes, it's slightly more expensive because obviously it's not drugstore. Um, but I don't care about that. I just think it's a really, really good powder. That's that. I'm not used to doing it like this because normally I do it um, when I'm do when I'm doing a get ready with me or doing any kind of look. I do it on my vanity and um, like the bed is facing kind of you guys. But I want to try and do things a little bit differently. 
um, if I don't like it this way for like doing my eye looks then I'll go back to doing it the other way bronzer brush so I'm going to be using this Too Faced um, bronze peach in toasted peach and I kept this in for another week just because I didn't use it a lot last week because I wanted to concentrate on the Revolution and Imagination Highlight to the Moon palette, which I did. Um, so, yay me. be able to blend it in with this actually. Oh great the battery's going. See how far we can get with the actual video until that goes on us. Right next we're going in with the MUA Skin Define Hydro Powder which is also in Project Pan. Um, brush. Here we go. I really like this powder and I just use it here that's probably why I've not finished it yet if I used it all over my entire face it would have been gone probably weeks ago right now blush it so I'm going to be using this little palette here it's an absolute stunning stunning palette I mean look at the marble on it it reminds me of the MAC one that they brought out but the MAC one's bigger um, and it doesn't have like bronzer shades in it it just has three blushes and three highlighters and the theme around this is the weather so it's got the highlighters are called thunder cloud and blizzard and then the blushes are called humid degrees and dewy um, i really like this blush here no guesses why because it's a dewy blush um, and i tried those two yesterday um, so i don't know i think blizzard is just going to be too dark for me we can try it um, if it's too dark maybe put some, something over the top right so blush we're going to need a blush brush We'll try this sometimes this really packs on the color um, I think I'm just gonna try dewy by itself today because yesterday I mixed it with degrees um, and I just kind of want that dewy look yeah so my sister gave me some money and then in February I saw this I'd been seeing it for ages like all throughout christmas like all throughout december and i was thinking shall i buy it and they did eyeshadow palettes as well and i'm thinking shall i get the eyeshadow palette um the eyeshadow palette was very reminiscent of the tight i can't remember what it was which it is but it's got like circle pans down one side and then um like square pans down another side i will I'm sure I remember it. I think it's the Tartiest Pro one, um, but I can't remember if that's the name of it. But it reminded me of that. I don't have the tight one anyway, um, and I decided just not to get it. If I was going to buy it, it would probably be just for the cutesy packaging. Um, and I didn't really want to do that. So I left that and just bought the um the face palette and i'm so glad i bought it because a few weeks later they stopped selling it that's just what primark do they get products in um right i've just remembered so they get products in primark and they pretty much basically sell out so we're using this iron face palette Right, and it has a blush in there. We obviously can't use that as a blush, but I'll use that as a highlighter. I've actually just remembered. So let's put some spray on. I'm just going to use this W7 Ready Set Glow Spray, and it's the rose gold one, the one I always use. 
I always forget. Like when I'm doing this deck of Scarlet kind of like try on and seeing if I want to keep the palette, I always forget that they've got face products in. Don't ask me why. Um, what we can do is we can use this as a transition shade. Where are my brushes? I have got stuff everywhere. Just wiping the brush off. So while that setting spray dries, I'm just gonna go in with Adorable. I can't remember who this collaboration was by, um, but it's certainly not my vibe. No way, no sorry. Um, the only thing that is, is the highlighter. So I don't know whether to pan it. And I've been speaking to somebody else about this as well. She had, um, she had a subscription and she feels the same about me about some of the, well, about the eyeshadow palettes she received. Um, she didn't keep hers. Um, but I just, I hate like throwing things out that, you know, without giving them a proper try, which I'm doing here, but I've got a feeling this one's going to go. It's just so smoky. And do I need another eyeshadow palette that's smoky? I do actually like that shade though. And this is a blush. Let's do this side and then we'll do the highlighter. I wasn't going to go to the hospital today, I was going to go tomorrow, but since that package is coming to Boots, uh, Boots Superdrug, I may as well go and pick it up. Then I won't have to go out tomorrow. I can't believe this is like the third week my mum's been in hospital though. Um, and then when she was originally in, her consultant said it was going to be for short stay. Well, I'd like to know what they think a short stay is, because for me, a short stay would be anything from, <coughs> excuse me, anything from like two days to a week. Um, I wouldn't say a short stay is three weeks. I mean, what are your thoughts on that? I just, I just don't think it is. Right, so now I need my highlighter brush. Right, so we're going to go in with Pinot Grigio, my favourite, favourite wine. Um, so let's see if this is going to be one of the favourite highlighters. Oh yeah, I do like that. That there is my kind of highlight, that shade. So if I get rid of this one, then I'm going to depart that highlighter. I just need to get another um, magnetic palette. Just seems a shame to. It just seems a shame to kind of like depot it for one item though. Um, but we'll see. Um, so now I'm going to go in with Sagittarius, which is this darker, like I'd call it a maroon reddish shade just in the outer V. I need to run this through the colour switch. Right, and then we need to blend it in. <clears throat> See if we can do it with this brush. blending in quite well. It is blending in quite well. But they're just not my typical eyeshadows and that's why I'm thinking about decluttering, depotting some, some of that. Right, and now we're going to go in with the tiny accent brush I like to use. And we're going to go in with a silver. So that one is called Diamond Dust. And then we're going to use New York on the lash line. 
Now there's a plane going by. Ooh, I like this silver. And that's without me wetting it. Spraying it, should I say. Which we'll do in a second. I actually like it guys this is shocking me um, we're just gonna see how much more pigmented we can get it this palette might not be going anywhere then I really like this silver and to be honest I do not go in with silver eyeshadows I mean, the, the kind of eyeshadows that I probably would wear at Christmas. Silvers. Because it's quite a cool toned eyeshadow, isn't it? Oh yes, I really like that. Right, so next we're just going to put some Pinot Grigio in the inner corners. And then we're going to do the scary part. We're going to be using the same brush and we're going to go in with New York. Now it's, it's like a black. Is it a black or is it a dark grey? I don't know. And um, It might be a dark grey with like... Yeah, I think it's a dark grey that with glitters in it. I don't think I've ever tried this. I know I've tried the silver. Don't put yourself in my eye, Andrea. I did that yesterday and oh my gosh, it hurt. Quite like that. Right, so I've just had to put a new battery in. Um, so we're just going to be using the MAC Graph Black to tie line with. Just had a little bit of a conversation with my mum. Um, really good news actually. Um, she'll be coming on this week, I can't believe it. Um, so I'll get to see you again. I cannot wait, guys. It's not going to affect uploads or anything like that. Just because I've got so many um, scheduled. But yeah, I've not seen her in such a long time. And I know people go for longer periods than this. But it just feels like so long for me. Um... So yeah, I'll be really, really pleased when she comes on. They haven't told her when she's coming on, so I'm still going to have to take up some clothes and some underwear and whatnot today. Um, I'll take another week's worth up, just on the off chance she is staying in the hospital a little bit longer. Um, but the occupational therapist called me today and just said, do you care for your mum when, when she's at home normally and I said yeah I do a medication pay her bills do a shopping basically whatever she needs I do um, and it's, it's like well can you manage um, I know what it's like taking care of like a relative um, it's not always easy and it's not always easy I completely 110% agree it can be really really difficult and it can be challenging um, but she's my mum and I want to take care of her and I know that I can take care of her. I feel quite capable of taking care of her. But they gave me social services number just in case it gets too difficult. Um, so I've got that. Um, and they said that they could put a care package in, like, like in line for her. Um, I've spoke to my mum about it. She doesn't want that. Um, so we're going to try and avoid that. Hopefully, um, she'll be just as independent as when she went into hospital. Um, she does have a few more difficulties like she has trouble breathing so she's been given a CPAP machine um, for, for the evening so I need to learn how to use that and set that up for her but the thing is you can only set it up at 12 o'clock at night so that means I have to stay every single night for 12 o'clock till 12 o'clock um, and then walk it home walk it the 10 minutes home which can be um, 
it's not great at that time of night because there's a park and whatnot near where I live. Um, so yeah, I might have to do that for a couple of weeks until she's learned how to do it for herself. But the nurses need to show me how to do it because I can't do that either. So I need to learn how to do that. And then obviously there's other things um, she might need me to cook for it. I don't know how independent she will be when she comes home. She's, she might not be the same as she was when she went into hospital and I, I can fully appreciate that. I've done this before for her when she was a lot sicker than she is now. So we'll just see. We'll see what happens when she comes home. Um, that's all I can do, isn't it, really? Um, next, we're going to go in with collection of volumising mascara. So I just wanted to share that with you guys since I've basically told you where my senior grave is story. I hate it when you have hooded eyes and eyeshadow travels up. Um, yeah, I'm not a fan of that. Just going to blend it in with a Smashbox brush now. I do like this look though. I honestly didn't think I would. Right, and then we just need to... I've lost my Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. Then we just need to... Oh, we need to do this actually. Um, where is the brush? I love putting this Wet n Wild powder on just all over my face as a setting powder it looks so so beautiful and so luminescent there we go right um, and then it's just lipstick so I'll use the mirror from the deck of scarlet palette and I'm using, I think it's called Soft Spoken, yeah, NYX Liquid Suede Soft Spoken. It's a really nice lipstick, this. Right, guys, so I think this was a fairly quick one today. Just because I'm in such a rush, I hope you don't mind that. Um, I don't always like doing really long get ready with me's anyway. Um, but this is what we're looking like. If you've been watching this channel for a while, you'll know I don't use cool toned eyeshadows. It's neutrals, warm toned eyeshadows and a bit of colour on this channel. Um, but I'm trying to be more adventurous when it comes to eyeshadow. So yeah, I'm really, really enjoying this eyeshadow look. It's just really, really pretty. Um, and it looks really, really nice with this lip. So guys, this concludes the video. Thank you so much for watching today. It really does mean a lot that you have. If you've not already subscribed and become part of our little fam over here, I would really appreciate it if you did. Just click that subscribe button down below and click the notifications bell. And please like, share and comment. I'm going to go now because my voice is completely going on me. And I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.